the problem for people with dyslexia is is school everything at school kind of focuses on the things that they struggle with and their weaknesses but when you get out into the big world afterwards if you manage to kind of break through all of that to see that people can succeed and 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 get on and have a good career and and, and succeed whether that's in business or whether that's in the creative arts is really encouraging for somebody who's at school and and has just really battled and are thinking am I good at anything can I do anything because schools don't recognize the strengths that the dyslexics have because they're focused on all the academic um, reading things and writing that can be so tough for people with dyslexia. Obviously there's been big progress made in, in sort of recognizing this at an early stage but do you think there's still work to be done with schools actually picking up on this at the right age and being able to take the steps necessary to help people? Absolutely Jessica's a twin and I, I maintain the only reason she was recognized quite early which was when she was seven is because she was a twin so two children who'd had the same experiences at home at the same classes even at school because it was a one form entry school you had one who could read the Sunday Times and one who was struggling to read the words cat and dog you couldn't put it down to there's a lack of books at home or anything like that the parents aren't reading to them because you could see the contrast but if Jessica hadn't had a twin would it have been recognized in her at that time I'm not sure it would have been and one of the key problems is that um, the teaching profession the qualifications that they do do not give very much time to specific learning yeah. difficulties so teachers are teaching with um, and and seeing the pupils but they actually haven't been given the skills and the training and the tools to support them Jessica um, we heard Jennifer Anderson say that she felt like she wasn't smart she could never retain any information yeah. Does, is that something that you've experienced yeah because because uh, I was compared to my brother my twin like I was always like seen to not be like picking things up as quickly as him mm. so I was always compared my whole life and so I always felt oh maybe I'm not like good enough like I'm just like a bit stupid whatever but then once I was diagnosed I realized that it wasn't actually me like I actually had a problem and so then it could be addressed and helped and I got the help that I needed and, and, and you are a dyslexia sufferer and yeah. you can see someone who's beautiful and glamorous and successful like Jennifer <laughs> yeah, Anson yeah. I'd imagine that at, you know that gives you heart to know that you can still yeah. succeed and do whatever you want to do it doesn't have to hold exactly, you back exactly exactly like looking at her like she's such a role model for like people especially like people like me who suffer from dyslexia like it's such a like good thing to look at like someone like that mm. so yeah and you've not let it get in your way though because you did you've passed nine GCSEs and, and you've just sort of got on with your life hasn't yeah. it but how difficult has it been for you it's been really hard like I've had to have a lot of help like I've had one-to-one -one lessons I've had private lessons all that has like really helped me to get the GCSEs and now I'm doing A-levels so and at one point that didn't look like it would ever happen and so now it is and it's just really good it's one of the main characters absolutely yeah now you're no stranger obviously to sporting a tash has that always sat well well, with the women in your life, I mean, 